Hello guys so today i'm going to continue with a oral pathology classification part b using mnemonics so let's start with first one that is vesiculobullous lesions so here i have used the mnemonic that is bunnies phone belt multiple times multiple times showing the contact okay showing a contact remember the word multiple and contact okay so let's see what it stands for so coming to the primary part of the story that is talking about the primary blistering diseases so bunny that is b for benign mucus pemphigoid then p for pem figures that is phone bell we have split it according to the spelling so b for bullous pemphigoid e for epidermolysis bullosa acquisita l for lichen planus and l for linear iga disease now coming to the secondary part of the stories or secondary diseases that is multiple times okay phone bell rang multiple times multiple m for erythema multiforme showing a contact that is c for contact or frictional keratosis okay now let's see whom he was trying to contact kevin's wife and this wife remember this picture itself so she is a hereditary queen so we are talking about the hereditary disease for kevin k for keratosis follicularis w for warty disc keratosis that is wife we are split into w for warty disc keratosis i for incontinentia pigmenti f for familial benign pen figures e for epidermolysis bullosa now let's see parallelly someone else was trying to contact somebody else so that is talking about systemic diseases which is divided into autoimmune and the second part i'll tell you that is metabolic okay so autoimmune diseases parallelly somebody else is contacting so p for paraneoplastic pen figures now coming to the second contact that is a parrot's phone bell was ringing mm? and who was calling cute dia okay imagine that penguin is dia so let's see here we are talking about the what type of diseases systemic diseases which are metabolic so parrot p for pseudoporphyria then p for porphyria variegata that is phone okay then bell b for bullous dermatosis and who was calling cute porphyria cutaneous dia d i a in diabetes okay so guys let's start with the next classification that is about the white lesions so starting with the mnemonic a line of ford from which entered luke in white dress and hat okay dressed in white with a hat okay so let's start that is normally he comes in a huge line of ford and from one ford he enters so that is the normal variants of oral mucosa l4 linea alba f4 ford isis granul line of ford and hereditary white lesions okay so he has inherited all this so luke Uh, L for leukoedema, D for disc keratosis congenita. That is, Luke dressed dressed in white. Okay, W for white spongy nevus, and H hat. That is, H for hereditary benign intraepithelial disc keratosis. Okay, see, he is dressed as a CID. Okay, you saw. Hmm, he is. dressed as a cid4 so let's see what that stands for reactory or inflammatory white lesions okay so as that is a for actinic keratosis s for smoker's tobacco induced keratosis a as a a for allergic reaction cid c for chronic habitual cheek bites i for injuries and d for dermatological lesion as a cid 
फोर फोर एफ फोर फ्रिक्शनल कैरेटोस सो ल्यूकस ड्रेस लाइक अ सी आई डी फॉर वर्ड फॉर मीटिंग द हेयर सिफ्रिली विथ द कैंडी दिस इज अ गर्ल विथ द कैंडी ओके हेयर सिफ्रिली विथ कैंडी लेट सी दिस इज टॉकिंग अबाउट हियर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इन्फेक्शियस वाइट लेशन ओके सो मीटिंग एम फोर मीसल्स H for hairy leukoplakia that is hairy syphily S for syphilis with a candy that is candidiasis okay for word to say hello girl hello girl okay to say hello girl here spelling of hello is a little different and here we are talking about potentially malignant white lesion okay so h4 hyperplastic candidiasis a4 actinic chelitis okay here we have used the spelling h a okay l4 lichen planus l4 leukoplakia o4 oral submucous fibrosis and g4 graft versus host disease and l from the word girl i and r are silent here okay l4 lupus erythematosus so that is all about white lesions okay now coming to next classification about candidiasis okay so let's start in candidiasis you have to remember mnemonic a photograph of two apes with a hp pen okay so here we are talking about acute forms okay acute forms so ape mm? acute forms is the title so acute forms include pseudomembranous and erythematous candidiasis that is what ape stands for okay then chronic forms that is hp pen h for hyperplastic candidiasis p for pseudomembranous candidiasis p for plate like candidiasis e for erythematous candidiasis and n for nodular candidiasis okay ape so where they were sitting they were sitting on a dam okay so dam that so sitting on a dam the dam shows candida associated lesions so d for dentistomatitis a for angular chelitis and m for median rhomboid glossitis now the next part you have to remember by yourself that is keratinized primary lesions super infected with candida so there is l cube that is 3 l l for leukoplakia l4 lichen planus and l4 lupus erythematosus so that was all about the classifications of vesicular bullous lesions white lesions and candidiasis for more mnemonics or more clues or if you want any help regarding any of the topics in any subjects you can just comment below in the comment section or you can follow us in our instagram that is dental school or you can mail us directly in dental school for at gmail.com you can dm us through instagram so that is it guys thank you